Number 87, the binding of oxygen by hemoglobin, which is Hb, giving oxyhemoglobin, which is HbO2, is partially regulated by the concentration of H3O plus and dissolved CO2 in the blood. Although the equilibrium is complicated, it can be summarized by this balanced equation. Now letter A just says write the equilibrium constant expression for this reaction. Okay, so the first thing is I'm just going to rewrite this a little bit bigger just so that we can work with it. So we have this oxyhemoglobin, which is HbO2, and that's aqueous. When it comes in contact with acid, so H3O+, plus, that's aqueous, uh, and carbon dioxide, which is a gas, right? What happens is a complicated reaction, but they're summing it up by saying that you have carbon dioxide being bound to the hemoglobin. That's what this letter represents, or this dash means. And also the acid is bound to the hemoglobin. Uh, then they're saying that oxygen is going to be released and H2O will be produced as water. Okay, so the first thing that I notice Oh, what happened? What happened to that little check mark on the H3O plus? Let's see. Can I get it this time? Beautiful. Okay, so the first thing that I notice is the states, right? This was aqueous. They told me that. Aqueous, gas, thank you very much. Gas, liquid, but they didn't tell me a state for this. But they did give me an indication. They told me that this whole thing was charged. And anything that is charged, guys, is aqueous. So this has to be aqueous because I see a charge there. Okay. So that was a little trick. Now we just have to write the equilibrium expression for this reaction. So that's basically talking about a K value. Whether they asking for a KP or a KC, they didn't say. I like to just write KCs uh, instead of KP. So I'm going to choose KC. So we have this equation right here, right? So maybe I'll just say that this is letter A. And remember, it's concentration of products divided by concentration of reactants, and only aqueous and gases are allowed in this formula. So aqueous, aqueous, gas, this whole side is good. But now when I go to the products, I did find out that this was aqueous. That's a gas, but uh-oh, this is a liquid. This is not going to be included in the KC expression, so get rid of it. Now, let's write the KC expression. So KC equals concentration of products over reactants. I have two products now. I don't care about the H2O. Oh boy, what happened there? <laughs> I don't care about the, uh, the product H2O because it's a liquid. But I care about the other two. So this would be the CO2, HB, H+. Plus. And just look at the coefficient. And this is a balanced equation. All of them are raised to the first because there's a one coefficient here. So I just keep going on. I times it by the O2. Okie dokie. And now I go with the three concentrations of the products. So they all have to be multiplied. Remember in a Casey expression, your multiple reactants or products will be multiplied by each other. So I have HBO2 times by H3O plus times by the concentration of CO2. Whoa, CO2. And then that's basically it for this one. So if I can just maybe extend this a little bit more, that looks good. Put this over here. And then I can say part A is done. So this is your equilibrium expression. Now let's move on to part B. So A is done. Part B, explain why the production of lactic acid and CO2 in a muscle during exertion, so when you're exercising, stimulates the release of O2 from the hemoglobin in the blood passing through the muscle. Okay, so that's coming back to this, right? So we are producing lactic acid and CO2. Lactic acid, the word acid is in the name. So lactic acid, even though it's a big compound, right? It's an organic molecule. It will release H plus, right? 
all acids will have that H plus. Or remember, uh, hydronium, which is H plus, have two words to it. It's or two representations. It's H plus or H three O plus. So this lactic acid is going to be producing H three O plus and CO two. Here are the two things in the balanced equation: H three O plus and CO two. And we know that this will be increasing, right? That's what they said, production of lactic acid. Well, this is now coming from Le Chatelier's principle, right? If you are increasing in the concentration of H3O plus and the concentration of CO2, right? You're basically shocking the system. In this case, for Le Chatelier's principle, that means that you have way too much. You need to get it back down. And if you have way too much of one thing, you will always shift to the other side. So in this case, if you have way too much of this, you will not go and produce more of it. You want to get it away. So in this case, you will shift to the other side. So in this case, we are going to be favoring the forward reaction. We're going to be favoring this component of it. So by that, what's going to happen is now all of the products will increase and your reactants will now be able to decrease coming back to equilibrium. So when you are favoring the forward reaction, you will be producing more O2. And that's why it stimulates the release of O2. You are favoriting the forward reaction. So forward reaction is favored. And maybe I'll put this a little bit over here. Um, so if the forward reaction is favored, that is going to allow you to have an increase of the concentration of O2. And that's why O2 is being released. Being released means produced. Mm -hmm. So this is all coming back to Le Chatelier's principle. So hopefully that explanation gives you the idea I just kind of wrote, you know, a little bit of the most important things, but basically if you need to write this in sentence form, you could just take what I said and just write it down, but it would just take a long time for me to write it down and the video would be very long. So hopefully that helped, but it's going back to Le Chatelier's principle that if you have way too much of this, you will go in the forward direction producing this and that's why O2 is being released. So with that in mind, Part B is done, and we are done with this question. So hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the problem. Um, I hope to see you in the last question of the chapter. I think number 88 is the last one. So this has been a journey of equilibrium, and it's coming to a close. So I will see you in the next lesson or any lesson. All right. I hope you have a great day. I will see you later. Bye-bye.